Hey guys, so I know that um, you just got done watching a 20 minute video of software tour of the Galaxy Note 2, but there's actually a few more things that I forgot that I probably should show you. Um, actually, this could probably go on forever. I mean, this this is quite the uh, impressive operating system skin. So anyway, but I'll just I'll just jump through a couple of them. The, one of the first thing is since this is Jelly Bean, um, it has Google Now. So in order to access Google Now, since you don't have the home button to swipe up from, and also from the lock screen, there's no shortcut to get there you have to long press the physical home button, which pops up, you know, your task list. And then um, you see this little Google button right here. You tap that and it pops up Google Now. So as far as I know, that's the only way to get there. Um, if you're at home, you can long press menu and that should search and that sort of brings up Google Now. But really the only way to get directly into Google Now is to long press home, then hit the Google Now button. And then from there, it's, you know, swipe away things just like you would in normal Google now. So that's how you get that. Um, one of the things that I noticed that was missing was the multi-window feature that we first reported on, uh, where you can like split the screen and adjust it and use all these different applications and stuff. And basically you were supposed to be able to long press the back button and then it was supposed to pop up. Um, and even if we go into like, let's say ESPN here, and if I long press, even if I'm in an app, it doesn't work. So yeah. So that feature I would assume is coming later on in an update. That's sort of unfortunate. Um, other than that then, I wanted to show you this S Pen feature. This is one of those that I forgot and it's like the staple S Pen feature. If you have it out, click in the button and you tap twice, we'll double tap, it gives you the opportunity to create a note basically from anywhere and you can expand that, um, you know, right in here, share it, save it, all of that good stuff. So you can, uh, you can, should be able to do that from anywhere. So if I go back into ESPN, Double tap, there you go. So that's how you create quick notes anywhere. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you is uh, some of the camera software. So while this hasn't changed all that much, let's see if we have anything fun to take a picture of. Here's the Razer M. So, you know, it focuses well, actually that's probably the worst thing to take a picture of. What about some bucky balls? All right, so, you know, it focuses you can take pictures. Um, it used to have a separate option over here under shooting modes for burst mode. And they've taken out the separate option and actually just build burst mode in. So if you want to burst shot this thing, you really just hold this down. Oops. There we go. And it starts taking burst shots. And it does best shot and all that stuff if you wanted to. That's just a setting that you need to set up. Um, but if we look in these other ones, you can see there's best photo, best face, I believe, could be new. Um, there's HDR, HDR mode, that's not new. Most of this stuff's not really new. Buddy share, share shot, you know, that was all Galaxy S3 introduced. Um, if we go into here, you can see there's effects. I believe these are all there. We go into more settings, see burst shots on. So if you don't want burst shot on all the time, you can actually turn that off here. Um, just more stuff, shortcuts to shooting modes. There's the resolution, all your settings, things like that. So that's basically the camera. Um, although if we go into video, you can see if I start recording a video, you can snap photos while recording by hitting this button up here. You can see it just snapped a photo. And then they've also done this feature where you can pause. So you can stop recording or pause. So I can pause it. And then like later on in the day, I can hit record again and it'll pick right back up. So they did this thing basically for, you know, parties or events. If you want to string together a whole bunch of different, um, clips it'll allow you to do that. And then if, when you finally are finished, you just hit stop and then it goes into your, into your gallery. So anyway, those are just a couple of extra features I wanted to show you that I sort of skipped by in that extra long 20 minute video. As we find more, I'll definitely share those. But anyway, we're joined live.